And as you mentioned, it was your first single before COVID happened, but yet it's this this song just it's just bop. it's just a bop. It, it really is. And talk about a great music video with your specific the company look. Why don't we hit on focus with just the catchy tune? Just focus. I mean, I don't want to embarrass because I can't sing, but you know, no, no, no. I think you had it. Focus. How'd it go? It goes, How'd it go? Focus on the focus. I, I'm sorry, hey. I can't I can't I can't remember the exact <laughs> lyric at the moment, but you know that flow. Yeah. And you go with it, you know it and stuff like that. But this song <laughs> and this is the very first song that is heard in the cold open for the show is focus both. Alex's first verse and then famous first verse. Talk to me about focus. It's hit me that bop. I mean, that's a song where you could dance, you could dance with shorties, you could just kick back in the summer, you can have a beer. This is really high, oh, high. All the tracks are high quality, but this one is is a real special one, I think. Um, but talk to me about focus. You want to go? No, no, no. I've been I've been chatting, bro. I'm, mm-hmm. I might need to grab a glass of water. You got it. Um, focus is like it holds a special place in our hearts too. Like that's one of our favorite songs right now, and we're gonna keep pushing that until it it pushes through the cracks. Um, yeah. But making that, so make, yeah, making that song. Um, that's the question, right? Like that's just the process of making it. Making that song was really special because I think I was already on the way to Alex's house. And I was as I was on the way, um, I actually was with Alex's brother. And all day Alex was just he was there's moments where you catch as an artist, you catch strides. Right. And, the, and if people don't know, like a stride is just a zone where you're just a creative zone where you're just making music, or if if you're a musician and or if you're a, a whoever, whatever kind of creative you are, where you where you're just creating your art back to back to back to back to back, to back you know, and as creatives, you gotta cherish those moments because good shit comes out of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Alex had caught a stride and was just sending me like tunes all day. Um, but focus actually was called loading. And I remember seeing that loading pop up. I'm playing it, I'm actually on the J train. I'm like, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> this is the one. I remember like I actually I was you like actually- you didn't say that was the one. You said uh, uh, "Miss My Exit" was the one. Mm-hmm. Mm, really? miss my exit, that that uh, uh, I just missed my exit. That it was a Houston inspired song. Okay, okay. Um, but no, though. Like I felt like I said I told you you should keep "Miss My Exit." Yeah. And then I, and I felt like loading. I was like, yeah, I'm getting on this. So uh-huh. the first thing that we did when we when I got to um to A's crib was we worked on that song. I probably got there like maybe 10 and we was working on that song till 6 a.m. Literally working on that song right. 6 a.m. Like recording it over and over ad libs, layers, all that. Just making sure that it was tight. But it was, once we left with that song, I knew it was it. Nobody I played that song for ever told me like. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> I'm confident we all will in this world be bumping focus before we know it. Yeah. What a great yes. track, guys. And then the video itself, you guys just hanging out at the party and mingling. Anything on that? That looked like a fun video to shoot. I saw you were showing some behind the scenes videos with that too this week or this past um, week. It showed me that we're literally the next Steven Spielbergs, man. Um, mm-hmm. Because no, just coming from production and writing everything down. It came out how it was in our heads, bro. Yep. And that's a credit. That's a credit to Tukes Productions. That's a credit to everybody that even showed up and showed love. Like all of that stuff was detailed exactly like that, down to the storyboard. That was cartoon for that that whole um, speed dating scene to happen. Like how everything looked. Half of that video was shot in my house. Is it really? Wow, I didn't. Know yeah, that. it's not a bar. We 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 created that, and then the other spot was just an Airbnb with the table. But you know the lens tells the audience what you want it to. We made that look like we were in like a bar uh, or, you know, just, you know, girls in a, in a, in an art space, smoking hookah. That's my house. We built those sets. And that's the power. That's why we, we, that's the power of illusions, man. Mm-hmm. 